So let me ask you, because because that's a great way to look at it. Can you tell a star from the gate? Is that something that's evident with or without a record? Or does that star quality come out once this person has a hit record? So there are those that say stars are born and there are those that say stars are made. Um, I think Mariah Carey is a star um, that was made, though a star, because she had Tommy who told her she had, a, she had talent. It's not, we're not, we're, and when I say this, I'm not talking about people's talent. I'm talking about she was married to the head of the label who put all the marketing dollars behind her, pushed her. She had the talent to match money, talent, superstar made, right? Janelle Monet was a star when we first met her. Outcast signed her long before the Janelle Monet that you guys saw. We, you could tell she was a star. We didn't get a chance to grow it. Atlantic Records put money, star, Janelle Monet, global superstar. Some people are made stars. Some people are just stars, and it's just a matter of the world and everybody catching up. Some those, those little Michael Jacksons of the world. You knew he was a star from poor, and it was just a matter of the world catching up. Prince knew he was a star, even in his own head in high school. And me like yeah. so, I think everybody's journey to stardom is, is different. And everybody's not comfortable being a star, which is a lot of times the biggest stars are uncomfortable being stars. They don't want it. They didn't, it's not what they ask for. It's just what they are. And then there's this this the special type of star. The star that's going to outwork everybody. And that's what makes them a bigger star. Beyonce, Kevin Hart, The Rock. They, they're going to outwork everybody. Jennifer Lopez. But they're not maybe even the most talented. I remember Cat, Cat Williams, Kevin Hart, and D-Ray are, were managed by the same person before they had all broke. And even at the time, you can be like, all right, he's the most naturally funny but he's going to outwork everybody. And as it's played out, that's kind of cat is still to me, the, the funniest and the most natural star in that cat walks in the room. It's on and popping for the minute he walks into me, walks out. Kevin, when he walks in the room, he turns it on better than anybody. So Kevin Hart star is going to click and he's going to give you, he's going to get that room what they need out of him. And then he's going to go into five more rooms and do the same thing and get the bag out of it. Cat's like, I'm doing this shit once today. <laughs> He's going to be once, and then I'm going about my motherfucking business. And it's kind of like that. To me, that's what I've, I've seen, that certain people are just naturally stars. And, and, and when you get lucky enough to have a star, it's your job to, to squeeze everything you can out of it. So is there any stars that you just missed but had the opportunity to work with? Oh, um, <laughs> I tell people, yeah, shit's happened. Drake is probably the biggest. Um, you had the opportunity I didn't miss. to work with Drake? I had the opportunity to work with Drake, but I didn't miss it. And I tell people, this is another example of stars can be made. I met Aubrey. I met the kid straight out of Degrassi. That's who came to my office. He came to the office with my man, Tony Perez, introduced me to him. There was no Drake there. It was Aubrey. It was a kid that had been an actor in Toronto who just landed in New York that wanted to have a music career. What the world meant later was Drake, who took some of the Young Money swag and the Cash Money swag and some of Wayne style and some of, he had gotten, he collected. She fast forward three years, that Drake is not the same Aubrey that I met. So that's what I'm saying. Things can change based on your environment. It's like, it's like the old age question, nature or nurture. If the head of your label believes in you and they're going to nurture you, then you're gonna, you can get further along if you're willing to do it. I, perfect example, I, I will keep, this is a story, I will keep it short and sweet. I managed Life Jennings on Life's first album when he first got out. Signed to the same label as John Legend, all right? John Legend signed to Kanye West, the golden child in the building. Anything he needed, he needed a band for TV performance, he needed, they needed to take care of Kanye, so Kanye would come and be on TV with him. John Legend got everything he needed in that album. And Life Jennings was the little engine that could. And we went and got a van, and we went to venues, and 
We toured and we sold and we life sang. Any place he pulled out his guitar, he's ready to sing and do his thing. And I tell people, if you go back and you look at how much they both sold on their first albums, life sold like one three. John Lecton only sold like one five. And he had the entire labels push behind it. But life was willing to outwork and do the work. And he connected with fans at a slower clip, but he still got to the same place. So that's nature. Life's willingness, his natural star ability, his willingness to work, and his team pushing. Versus kind of nurture, which is the label. Saw John. Kanye said, saw the talent. They had Kanye to work with. John's ability, and then they nurtured it by spending money to get him on stuff. So, yeah, I have passed, I have missed. Drake is the biggest artist that I would say I passed on, but I always say I didn't meet Drake. I met Aubrey. And you literally passed on it, like yo, I just don't see this. It was, you know, it wasn't that I passed. Like I'm not messing with it. I was busy with a lot of other artists at the time, mm-hmm. and I didn't have anybody in. On my team that time, it was like, yo, I'm going to take this kid and run with it and, and go. Again, the style wasn't, it wasn't even the same rapping style. It wasn't the cadence. None of that was, the, he didn't even have any real records like that. Remember, he's a great writer, so he had written some great stuff that got Tony's attention. But all that swag and shit, nah, you, there was none, none of that. <laughs> there was none of that. that. I'm telling you, that Young Money boot camp, that, those two years down there in Houston and New Orleans and all that, that's where Drake was born. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.